I'm Brian James, the leadership guy, and today is actually prep day for going to Haiti. I'm going at 3 a.m. this morning. I know, surprise, I haven't really let anybody know, but it's me and James Billings, and then the infamous Terry Lewis. We're going down with a man named Alex. He's actually from Haiti, and he's going to be our tour guide slash bodyguard slash shopper connoisseur slash interpreter, make sure we don't get eaten by anything or anybody. And so today is actually uh, kind of shop around. We're gonna go out and get all of our tools. So I hope you, I hope you feel as excited as we do. Woo! <laughs> so first orders, we need to have a meeting with Mr. Terry himself, and we're at uh, Altos. You've probably been here because they have great breakfasts. <laughs> Give us a word. What? Give us a word. Bird. Bird is a word. Yeah? We're gonna fly away like a bird on an airplane to Haiti. When? Uh, in just over 12 hours. Well, no. Go to the airport in just over 12 hours. In 15 and a half hours, we are going to be taken off to Haiti. Wow. It's exciting. So, after a day of shopping, we've got lots of stuff. What's that? That's all filled. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're bringing like 400 pounds of stuff to Haiti. And that's not a fat joke. Bundles right there. They're allowed to be 50 pounds. They're 49 pounds each, the bottom two. And 52 pounds, so we're two pounds too heavy on these suckers. But I think Beach's good looks and my charm will we'll get the, the flight attendant girls to, uh, or the baggage checkers to let us through. What if it's a guy? You're really good at pretending to be gay, so. I can't put that on video now. <laughs> So, when we're down there, we're actually going to be doing some electrical. We're going to be wiring a church, and then while doing that, we're actually going to be training two other people to become the town electricians. And I know a question you're thinking to yourself right now is, does Brian James know how to do electrical? And the answer is no. So, uh, God definitely has to show up or else things could get pretty shocking. Um, during the night sessions, we're going to be preaching and praying and fraternizing with the locals and having some fun times like that. There's only three rules, really. It says don't drink the water, bring toilet paper wherever you go, and never go anywhere alone which are three practical rules for anywhere that you live, so I think we should do okay. But uh, very excited, we're going in a couple hours, and we'll be back in about a week with some crazy stories, because every time I've gone overseas for missions, it just, faith hits like the next level, and we just get bold, and hey, let's pray for the deaf, let's pray for the blind, let's pray for you know half-eaten people, you know, that kind of stuff. And so, I'm expecting to come back pretty amped up. But while we're gone, make sure you pray for us because where we're going is pretty dangerous. And so just in case we don't make it back. I love you. We're going to make it back. Just, just pray.